have accused Russia of using so-called vacuum bombs against Ukrainian citizens, which would be a war crime. Uh, Nick is at the News Nation Smart Board. Nick, what is a vacuum bomb? Uh, these bombs are so deadly. Russia's own state arms expert website includes the descriptor, I will create hell for your enemy. What is it? This is what it looks like. Smart bomb, vacuum bomb, uh, thermobaric bomb, whatever you want to call it. These are the weapons that have been spotted in this conflict between Russia and Ukraine. They are so deadly because they're completely indiscriminate in their use and indiscriminate in their destruction. It really breaks down into two parts. The first part is the actual bomb itself. When the bomb comes down, it releases one part the actual fuel itself. That fuel contains pieces of shrapnel and an ignition, an ignition fluid. That fluid is then ignited by the second part, that charge. That charge is so explosive that it immediately destroys organs, eardrums, things like that because it lights that fuel. The problem is it doesn't only target those in uniform. It moves into any space that is open, so like foxholes or wherever civilians might be hiding, which is why it's a war crime to actually use this weapon. And we know that Russia has used this before. It used it in 1999 in Chechnya, and they also used these when they gave these weapons to Syria to use in their conflict. What we want to point out is that even though Ukrainians have seen these weapons on the ground and others have reported their use, the United States has not independently confirmed that these vacuum bombs are being used right now in the conflict. You know, Nick, retired Lieutenant General Richard Newton mentioned thermobaric bombs on our show on Tuesday. Uh, we will have more with him coming up in our second hour. Thank you. As Russia attacked Ukraine cities overnight, President Biden... Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.